It's Friday. Welcome to another weekly update. A lot of folks this week were surprised to learn that their homes had doubled in value. I have the assessor of property here in Knox County, John Whitehead, to explain to us this process of reassessment and how this all works. So, John, would you like to tell people what it really means when you know I get this notice that the previous uh, appraisal of their house or assessment of their house was this and now it's this? Okay, what most people want to know is what it's going to do to their taxes. Okay, well, right now I'm estimating to be 38 to 40 percent increase to be a break even point. Which means that if the appraised value, or I guess assessed value, I keep on saying appraised, but it's assessed value, is about 40 percent, that's the break even point. They're yeah. not going to see any increase in their property right, taxes, that correct? Be right. Right. Because according to state law, and I think it's important for folks to understand that this is state law, this is a process that you all have to do, but the aggregate amount of property tax that we collect has to basically remain the same. This is not a hidden property tax increase. No, it is not. In fact, uh, <clears throat> we have to fill out a form. You have to sign it. I'll have to sign it. We send it to Nashville to the comptroller's office. They'll check our figures, and if it's right, they'll set a certified rate based right. on that. And based on and the cities and the counties cannot make money off this revenue neutral. Right. Uh, so on the same properties that we had last year, they can only get you know get the same amount of tax. Right. So it's not is is definitely not a tax increase. Can you explain the process that you go to when assigning that value? You all just don't pick a number out of thin air. You have metrics that that you apply to each property in the county. Yes, we each map, we actually analyzed sales on each map. We used over 10,000 sales, and we had about 12,000. We, we kicked out a few, a few of those because of family sales and multi-partial sales, and we ended up with about 10,500 good sales right. all over the county. And we analyzed every one of those sales, and we done that, broke it down to each map. We have 172 maps in this county and we analyzed each map by sales, and that drove the values. Now, the last two and a half years has been unbelievable. The market is just, just keeps going up. In fact, the Board of Realtors put out a report that from January 1 to December, the value went up 22%. So people that bought their house in January may see a little increase even on theirs. How, uh, how often do you have to do a reappraisal? You got a choice of four, five, or six years. The last one we done was five years. Right. We're going to go back to four years now because if you, it was on the four-year cycle and a new assessor comes in, they only had six months to finish the reappraisal. Right. That's just too tough. Right. So I went to five years, so we'd, the next assessor would have a year and a half. If folks have questions, how do they contact your office? They can call 865-215-2360. Uh, I think it's important that people also realize I'm a bit of a monetary theory buff. And there's been a bipartisan effort in Washington, D.C. to print tons of money and inject it into the economy. And that's what we're seeing here is not only price inflation among consumer products, but even assets and capital goods. And unfortunately, that is not a blanket effect. And it does go, it flows into some sectors more than others, and it'll flow into certain parts of the housing market more than others. And that's why we'll see this, this really drastic increase in the overall valuations, but also it's probably gonna affect, um, affect certain neighborhoods and certain housing price um, uh, stratas, I guess, different than it does others. Are you seeing that? Yeah, and, and, it's, and it's every county. It ain't just Knox County. Right, no, you know, Davidson County, and they went up 35% last year. They had a four-year cycle, and, Dave, and Shelby County, too, Memphis, they, they went up 35% on an average. So if you've, you're just like us. The 35% was the average, so right. there's some, you know, some of those, too. And Putnam County, same way, Hamilton County. So it, it's, it's statewide. But the most important thing for people to remember is this is not a hidden tax increase. There's a, a average baseline, it's about 40%, and that actually will determine your actual property taxes. Right. right, whether it goes down or whether it goes up, what you can expect. Thanks, John. Just a reminder, this week's Eat and Greet is at Ola's Southern Cuisine 2 on Chapman Highway. That'll be Thursday at 1130. Until next Friday, I hope everyone has a great week.